Hello and welcome to my kitchen. We're going to be decorating a jar using a napkin with birdhouses and flowers, some leaf green paint, decoupage, and white paint that is made for multi-purpose use and is very good for using on glass. A sponge will come in very handy, a couple of paint brushes. You'll need some scissors to cut out the napkin. I'm using painter's tape to put on top of the jar so that when I'm painting, I won't get paint on the area where the lid will screw on. All of these supplies will be listed down below. Just press the arrow button and it will take you to the supplies that we're using today. Here I'm putting the tape on the jar. I'm going to go all the way around, pulling it kind of tight so the paint won't go underneath it. And then I can start painting the jar. This is the alcohol I'm going to use to clean the jar. It's 71%, but it doesn't matter. You just want to get any grease and fingerprints off the jar. You can just use soapy water and wash it, and paint it right away. That will work too. This is the multi-surface paint. It's pure white because the background of the napkin is white. And then any edges that have white left around the flowers or the birdhouses won't show up when you're done. I'm going to be sponging this on. This is a fairly large sponge because it goes faster. You want to cover the whole jar, the top and the bottom. You're going to use two coats. Let it dry completely between each coat. And then in a minute, you'll see that we're going to paint with the brush the final coat which will fill in any gaps or places where the bubbles that these sponges make don't quite cover the glass but you can tap those bubbles out after you've painted it and it starts to dry a little bit with the sponge by just gently tapping with a sponge that doesn't have any more paint added to it i'm going to use a paint brush to get paint up around the ridge here and then sponge that in so the texture will be the same all the way around. This is the end of the first coat and after it dries it takes probably 30-45 minutes maybe to dry unless you use a blow dryer and then I do the second coat and right now I'm tapping out those bubbles and making it a little bit smoother. Texture is okay to have but you don't want large bubbles showing up in the paint and you can see it's much smoother now than it was a few minutes ago. Don't forget to do the lid. Got to cover the whole thing. The lid, you're going to need at least three coats because it's darker in color and that silver has a tendency to show through. So this is the end of my first coat and I'm not going to show it, but I will put two more coats on that and then brush the third coat on with the paintbrush. Okay, here's the reveal. Let's remove that tape. And look, it's clean up there at the top. Now I'm using the paintbrush and the same paint, and I'm going over the whole jar. This will make it smoother and fill in any areas where the glass may still be showing through because of the texture from the sponge. Now we're gonna work a little bit on fitting this napkin onto the jar. So it's gonna take a little bit of extra work. The napkin does fit all the way around the jar. I just wanted to show you that. I'm using some Cuddle Bee scissors. You can use any kind of fussy scissors to cut this out. And I'm gonna start out by just cutting out one quarter of the napkin. We'll be using the flowers from the other side of the napkin to go around the sides and the back. Again, I'm going to fit it on, and yes, I am going to cut off that purple birdhouse, and I'm going to trim it up really close to the edges. You can leave some of the white in there. It's not going to show up once you're finished, but I do like to get the edges trimmed fairly close. Don't forget to cut out that bird's tail as I cut out that purple birdhouse. There's three plies to these napkins, and I do like to keep them all together until after I finish cutting because I find it's easier for me to cut. There's a couple birds up here. I'm gonna cut those because I'll individually put them on the birdhouse 
next to the birdhouses in just a, a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna trim out his tail a little bit more. All right. I have the birdhouses cut out and you can see that they go down below the jar. So I'm gonna trim the bottom of the flowers level to the bottom of the jar. You wanna cut it pretty straight here. And then it's gonna be a perfect fit. And there you go. All right, now let's match up where the flowers are gonna meet with the rest of the napkin. This section is only a quarter of the napkin, and I realize that it doesn't go far enough around, so we're gonna use the flowers from the other side of the napkin and cut about three quarters of the flowers. You wanna make sure that it goes all the way from one edge next to the birdhouses to the other. Okay, I'm gonna just fit it on and see how much more I need to cut. So I'm gonna start with the daffodils, attach those together. And you realize I'm not gonna be cutting the bottom of these off. I'm gonna leave them full so that they'll fill up the back. All right. And I see where I'm going to be cutting for now. We will go back and trim it up a little bit more to make it blend nicely with the flowers that are gonna be decoupaged on the jar. So I'm just cutting these out. kind of following the pattern of the flowers until I'm sure of where I'm exactly going to need to trim it up at the very, very end. Here's the Mod Podge and I'm using a matte finish to do the whole jar. I tend to like the matte finish. It doesn't have any glare and you can see the pattern behind it really, really well. And it also dries a little quicker. So I do see that these flowers are matching up quite nicely, but they kind of bump into the birdhouses and I want it to curve out gradually, so I will trim it up just a little bit. And right now, I'm gonna cut this little extra flower off because it's going over too far and I don't wanna overlap. And the other side matches up really, really nicely. So let's separate these. I use my fingers, they're a little bit wet. And you push them together and it will stick to your fingers and then you can separate the napkin. Some napkins are really hard to get separated. All right, this jar has a little dimple in the rim right here and I'm gonna put that in the back. It's barely visible, but it's there on these jars. Okay, so we're going to put the Mod Podge on. It's a decent layer of Mod Podge, not too thick, but it does coat and the napkin's gonna stick to it. So I'm gonna line up the bottom of the napkin first and then start rubbing it down in the center and working my way to the edges. Any loose edges or corners that didn't have Mod Podge, I'm gonna add that now. You can see where it was loose. And I'm just gonna lay the napkin down on top of it. I'm gonna trim this up a little more because I know the yellow flowers are gonna match up with the other napkin that I'm gonna be laying down. Napkin has a tendency to kind of bubble up, so just keep pressing it down. And now we're gonna fit the flowers on. I'm gonna start with the yellow flowers because that side matches up really, really well. So I'm going to do one section at a time. I'm gonna put the Mod Podge down, line up those yellow flowers, 
and make sure that the bottom of my napkin is going around the base of the jar. More Mod Podge. We're going to do another section. I'm starting from where it's already glued down and then pressing it down around the jar. Another section. I'm just lightly rubbing it so that it lays down. Don't press too hard. You don't want it to tear. You don't want it too wet because that will also make it tear. You just want it to have enough paint on there to catch the napkin. It will have more coats on top. But I didn't put glue all the way to the edge because I want to see how the flowers are going to match up. And I'm going to want to trim this down. And you can see I'm going to trim around the red flower and down to the purple. But I want the red flower that's already decoupaged down to be complete, so I'm going to trim around that one, and then they blend together very, very well. And we're going to lay those down, and you can't even hardly tell the difference. Make sure the tops of the flowers all have decoupage underneath them. And it's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to use some saran wrap. I'm using cling wrap. That's what I get. And I put a little bit on my finger. I dip it into the Mod Podge and put a little bit on there. And then I lightly tap and rub the saran wrap to get any wrinkles or bubbles out. You may have some wrinkles that stay. It won't show up. You won't be able to see it. but you do want to be gentle with this and you want to get all of the bumps and bubbles and wrinkles pressed down and then you want to let it dry. And there we have the first layer of Mod Podge on the napkin and it's already looking pretty good. I'm going to put the birds facing into the birdhouses, so there's going to be one on each side of the set of birdhouses. Picking it up with my brush, going to lay it on there. Being very gentle so that, that I don't move it or anything. If you're laying it down and it moves or tears, just cut out another bird and, and take this one off and put the new one on. Here's some leaf green, basic acrylic paint. You can use any color you want. I have a tendency to go with the green because it pulls the green of the leaves out. You won't need very much paint. You can see how much I'm pouring there. And I'm gonna use a dotting tool. It's the larger one. I'm a set that has I think it's the green one, but you can use a pen or a pencil or anything that has a rounded tip on it. Every time that you make a dot, you're going to put the dotting tool back into the paint and your dots will all be the same size in general. Go all the way around the rim of the jar. At the end, you can kind of space them to make that last one fit in. But remember, less dots is better than more. And now I'm going to randomly put dots evenly spaced around the jar, all the way up and in between the birdhouses. And then I'm going to put a second row of these dots in between each one, but down a little bit. And if you just want to randomly put your dots on, it works out just as well. It just helps me to have a pattern to follow. All right, now I'm doing the third row. It lines up with the very first row of dots. But you see how well that pattern is going with this? It's simple, but it makes it look complete.
Now, when I finished, I decided to go ahead and put two more rows of dots towards the top because I realized it just didn't quite look finished. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. So again, I'm going in between the two dots that are underneath it. All the way around the jar and one more time where the jar is flat right up there at the top and this made it look complete that's my opinion and I do like the way that it turned out okay take the lid now and screw it on to the point that it stops so you can find the section that will be in the center of the jar because I'm going to put a birdhouse on the top and I do want it to be lined up with the center of the jar because you don't want it to be going sideways or upside down or backwards. And I'm going to cut out one birdhouse. I'm going to trim it so it fits right on the edge of the lid and then I'm going to cut out that one birdhouse. You can leave as much of the flowers on as you want and the green leaves. I trimmed most of them off just kept the birdhouse and a couple of the leaves. But I like the way it looked. You want to line it up, make sure that it's pointing towards the center. Separate those layers. Ooh, almost stuck to my finger there. Tear it apart gently. I'm going to place it one more time to make sure I have it where I want it. That'll do. I'm going to put that Mod Podge on there. Pretty much covered the whole lid. We're going to go back over the whole lid anyway in a little while and cover the jar with two to three more coats of Mod Podge. But I like the way that that's turning out. Making sure all of my ends and corners and leaves are decoupaged down. I'm just using a brush to smooth this out, but now I'm going to get that saran wrap, dip it into the Mod Podge, and lay it down. And that will be the finished product. The Mod Podge has dried on the jar and I'm just gonna go over the whole thing, cover all of that white paint with the brush. You can even go a little bit up to where the lid will screw on because you want that paint completely covered with Mod Podge. Cover all of the dots, cover all of the flowers, can put it on a little bit thicker here if you want to but let it dry completely and then put two more coats I do recommend three total coats and then you can hand wash it if you want to and when you store things in this make sure they're dry items like M&Ms or rice or flour or nuts wet items will kind of react with the lid it doesn't work very well but dry items work very well Here's the finished product. I think it turned out really well, and I hope you enjoyed this video. You can use any napkins that you want. You don't have to use birdhouses, but this is the method that I use when I want a decoupage. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the like button, and I look forward to seeing you again really soon.